It would be very amusing again if the McCarthy clown car crashed and burned so soon after the starter's gun has sounded for this year's 14-lane race to the Super Bowl via the usual combination of penalties, turnovers, bad coaching, bad situational decisions, bad play calling by O.C. Kellen Moore, asking highly overpaid quarterback Dak Prescott to throw too much, you name it. It's rather hilarious that the Cowboys went into last season's first round game off a 51-26 win against Philadelphia, two weeks after they'd beaten Washington 56-14 and promptly lost to the 49ers. You can imagine their alleged brain trust getting together before the 26-6 loss at Washington on Sunday and saying, let's try the opposite approach. Let's muck it up in D.C. and go to Tampa off a loss. This way, we'll be more motivated. Yeah, that's brilliant. Why didn't we think of that last year? Odd thing about the Week 1 19-3 win by Tampa Bay over the Cowboys, other than Prescott tied with Davis Webb for most interceptions, 15 in only 12 games, getting hurt and missing a bunch of games afterwards. What would become the passingest team in the NFL, the Bucks, deployed a 33-27 run-skewed split. Leonard Fournette having a 21 for 127 rushing game. We never believed the Bucks would look good with a 45-year-old quarterback throwing 66.7% of the time, which they eventually did, and they mostly didn't look good. The Dallas game was their only win by more than one score before they became pass-happy clowns. Run heavier is a wise way to play against the Dallas defense, but it doesn't break a game open without defense or special team score. The thing about the Bucks is that with a 4-12-1 ATS mark, the football world has finally found something more overrated than the Cowboys' Brady. You know what, I see this score being something like 23-20 to 20 for Dallas. So instead of going for a side, again, 23-20 is very, very close to the number. But I like it a lot better than me saying that Dallas is going to win this thing by three because that's what the line is right now. Give me Dallas, Tampa Bay, under 45 and a half as a play here. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck, gang. Go get them. This is... Trending Rabbit.